fine now we are talking about the assurance it's almost a revision we are doing is it right in the examination questions will be little bit difficult okay i am saying very simple little bit difficult not little bit difficult thinking questions okay here we are taking the base we will consolidate it tomorrow we will find the the, the way how it will work what is the level of assurance provided by the independent auditor is it right what is the level of assurance a independent auditor will provide first you have to make sure that what are the different types of assurances are there is it right what are the what are the assurances are there one is going to be one is going to be positive assurance is it right which will never happen is it right which will never happen the second one is going to be what the second one is going to be a reasonable assurance is it right the rest is an uh, the what is the third one negative assurance no or another name name for that limited limited assurance limited assurance is it right that's that's way, that's the more, that's what we are learning is it right means which level of assurance the uh, independent auditor or statutory auditor independent auditor is otherwise called as a external auditor independent auditor is otherwise called as a statutory auditor is it right this is where it says fine next which each of the see they, they will ask you like this they will ask they will not ask you one or two questions is it they will ask you which one uh, the following is not is it right is not a five elements of assurance agreement is it right now what what is the what is the what is the five elements tell me fast what are the five elements crest crest is it right crest is it right what is that criteria criteria report report next evidence subject matter tended users good subject matter and intended uh, crest third part three party uh, three party is it right three party three party agreement is it that yes, who, who, who are the three parties here intended user practitioner in, intended practitioner, user practitioner and responsible party responsible party fine good next other thing other things you other people should which of the following is not a benefit of an audit is it right what is which is not a benefit of the audit when you say it's a not benefit there is here here the what they say they have said the subject matter they have they have talking about the criteria they have talking about the report only thing that is not applicable is it's uh, the assurance uh, file okay there is nothing like assurance file concept is not there okay next when you are talking about the things what is the benefit of the audit what 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 happens with the audit the when we are talking about the audit is right the credibility the value of financial statements will increase is right the it what what happens the value of financial statements will increase deficiencies is control can be identified during testing is it right next week we will start the real thing audit risk audit procedures and test of controls Is it right? Substantive procedures next week will be more specific one. Is that if is any inter in deficiencies in the internal controls? Is it right? Any deficiencies in the internal control? Who are responsible for internal controls? Yes, Maitha. Who are responsible for internal controls? Um, the internal audit. Internal audit. is it i will ask with everyone okay i will ask with everyone means in any deficiencies are there we can we can carry out in during the testing 
we can detect fraud may be directed during the audit sampling is not a, is used is it sampling is sampling is is a different different concept as such is it sampling is only we, they will take the sample to test sampling more provide a limitation of the audit process when you are talking about the sampling it is a limitation of the audit process means what happens we are not going to test each and every we are not going to test each and everything with respect to the audit is right we will take test only the samples fine that's what it says next what is the which of the following statements is false is it right slowly and steadily the the difficulty level will increase understand one and we have to make sure that we have to do difficult questions understand one we have to i not say difficult questions we have to do challenging questions when we do challenging questions we the level of confidence will increase which of the following statement is false see multiple choice questions every question you have to read every option you have to read that's very important you don't you should not see what happens in some cases you will see that yes option b is right but you are understanding says option b is right you should not stop in option b only you have to read option c you have to read option d once you read all the four options then only you should come to a conclusion which one is right which one is wrong okay which what the following statement is false the auditor will express only an opinion whether the financial statements are true and fair is that the auditor will only express the opinion they will not do anything else is it right they will not do anything else the the job is to give only the opinion as simple as that this is true the auditor must obtain sufficient appropriate evidence this word we will cover in every other case you are when you are going for an audit you will try to get sufficient appropriate evidence two three things are there you should get the maximum evidence to make an assertion you to convince yourself is it right? the auditor always the auditor must will obtain sufficient appropriate evidence to be able to form the opinion okay this is the true all the time this is the only the purpose if the financial statements are found contain material misstatements material misstatements is nothing but you are see assume you are you are what happens there is a there is a amount of 1000 is it right there is a transaction of 1000 now there is a transaction of 1000 you are not getting sufficient appropriate evidence for 1000 is it as an auditor is it right as an auditor auditor you will not you will you will not get is it right? sufficient sufficient appropriate evidence you are going to get only only evidence for 900 reals you are getting only evidence for 800 reals is it right if that is the case is it right if that is the case then we call it as a material misstatement is it right? material misstatement this word we will cover all through the time in every lecture every question it will be there understand one you are you are having you are having a transaction of real 1000 okay now you have to get the evidence for 1000 reals is that sometimes you will get an evidence of only assume that you are going to get evidence of only how much you are getting the evidence of only 900 reals then definitely there is a material misstatement of 100 we will not doing this calculation we are not doing anything we do the calculation somewhere in the in the in the p6 paper is we are not doing here is it right in the p6 paper if you take out means if there is any mismatch of the amount and it is not going to be verified then it is called as a material misstatement fine if the financial statements are found to contain material statements means 
a negative opinion will be given. See the things. What happens if you are getting any material misstatements? Fine. You are, you are, you are having some doubts. Is that things are not fine? Immediately you will not come to a conclusion. Okay. Immediately there is no conclusion. You should not take your pen and write that it is negative report. Is it right? First you have to you have to try to get is it right you have to see you have to explore all options so you have to get sufficient appropriate sufficient appropriate evidence first okay then you will not have what is the second option second option is you have to discuss with the management is that discuss with the management that's very important all through the time in the in the audit what they say that whenever you have any any re things requirement you have first you have to discuss with the management is it right when you, you have to discuss with the management and last you should never give a negative opinion nobody will give negative opinion is it right people will give what people will give qualified opinion is it right so to the subject matter for that purpose only we will give this we will learning in the last lecture but doesn't mean that you have to go to the last lecture the what they will do they will give qualified see you you are there is it right you are going to an audit when you are going to an audit you will get you will you will you will verify 10 items okay you will verify 10 items and one item we are not getting sufficient appropriate evidence you will discuss with the management. Management will also not respond practically. Then what will happen if manage, management is not responding, uh, not in a position to discuss, then you will not put everything that it is negative. You will say that, assume you, you are not getting good uh, 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 appropriate evidence in inventory. Then you will give a qualified opinion to the subject matter, to only to the Inventory only you will give some opinion. You will not say that other everything is wrong. Is it right? That's what it says. That is also what you will do. You will not give negative opinion. Okay. You will never give a negative opinion. You will give a qualified opinion. Keep this in our mind. We will cover this again and again when it is required. Okay. Means if the financial statements are found to contain material misstatements, a negative audit opinion will be given no we are not going to give negative op audit opinion what we are going we are going to give what qualified opinion is it right? we are going to give call an audit may not detect all fraud and error hundred percent don't say that you you are see audit when you are talking about the audit audit one of the limitations is it right? one of the limitation of audit is we are doing it on 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 sample basis is it right? on sample basis you cannot say that is what well, that is the reason when you make it a point the what we say we say that it is they will, they will never say it correct is it right we'll say it is true and it is fair is that we are we'll say it is a true and it is fair as such Okay, this is what the auditor will express only the opinion. Auditor try to get the sufficient appropriate evidence and auditor will never give a negative opinion. Okay, negative opinion, extreme case. Is that extreme case negative opinion? An auditor may not detect all the fraud and errors. Fine. Now, in the examination, this type, this type of questions will be there. Okay, now you have to see, you have to analyze it. You have to integrate it. You have to thread it. Okay. That's very important. Which of the following are examples of expectation gap? Is that what do you mean? What do you mean by expectation gap? Definitely. It is, it is what we are, we are, what the auditor expects and what the uh, uh, practitioner is expecting and what is the uh, intended user is expecting. Is that all three people are there. Three parties are there the practitioner, the intended user, and the, what is the third one?
practitioner responsible responsible party okay responsible party what it say the independent auditor reports confirms the financial statements are ad report confirms is right they will never they say that they are accurate they will never say correct okay accuracy we are what all through the time we are talking in terms of what we are talking in terms of accuracy in unmodified opinion the company is a going concern what is see what is the mod say the unmodified opinion is it right is a positive report it is a negative report fine positive and negative that's all if it is modified opinion see what first you should understand what is modified is it first you should understand what is modified modified is nothing but you will have the financial statements is it right you will have you are preparing in the uh, uh, the responsible party will prepare the financial statements and in the financial statements you will have some queries auditor will raise the queries is it right auditor will raise the queries is it right raise the queries and after that what will happen the uh, the uh, responsible party will make some changes is it right sometime they will make changes fine if they are not making any changes get it right if they are not making any changes then what happens the auditor will is it right the auditor will modify the report the auditor will change the report is it right that modified report is little bit question mark is it right now what is the we you go into consideration what is the unmodified report is it what is the unmodified report unmodified report is definitely we are going to say that this report is true and fair is it right this report is accurate is it right this report is reasonable is it reason it yeah, means what we are going to say that yes is that this report is reasonable an unmodified report means the company is a going concern see we are, we are we are very much concerned that the company has to continue in future we'll cover this we'll complete this and we'll stop our prayers is that unmodified opinion is nothing but it's a going concern going concern what does it mean is it right i will write here what does what does the going when we are saying it is a going concern is it right going concern means we are preparing the financial statements okay we are preparing the financial statements with respect to what every account will have a opening balance and every account will have a closing balance is it the most important thing that the auditor has to give a report is it right the auditor has to make sure in the report they have to mention that the company is a going concern means the company is going to continue but there are various reasons you don't have cash you don't have contracts the company will not have the business in that case there is a question mark for going concern otherwise if everything is fine it is a example of a going concern that is one of the thing the stakeholders the internet user is very much concerned about it and it is the responsibility of the auditor to give a report with respect to to mention as a clause okay to mention it as a clause that the company is a going concern fine now the auditor test all transactions that is the expectation gap is it right the auditor test all the transactions never happen the auditor will only test the transactions on the sampling basis is it right? that what is the expectation gap see there will be you cannot say it is going to be correct is it right you cannot say it's correct you are giving an opinion this is it right? when you are talking about the expectation gap it all depends about what it all depends on the opinion definitely the is it right? definitely what will happen the opinion and the 
the end result there will be some some gap will be there is it but auditor will try to try to uh, convince that they're not no it's not a try to make sure that the things will be true and fair is it with the auditor will never test all the transactions the auditor will do only the on the sampling that is the reason when you are talking about the sampling again i'm saying it is one of the limitation of audit is it the auditor can be sued for negligence why they will sue negligence auditor is auditor will never see you are writing the audit report keep it in mind you will become very very alert okay you will be you will not take any responsibility as such understand point you will never be there is no responsibility on the auditor if if auditor is collaborated keep it in mind arthur anderson is it right at if the auditor is collaborated with the with the client then only something will happen but in most of the cases in most of the cases auditor will be very careful in writing the report the words they use are very meticulously used very intelligently they will use the words and they will not take any responsibility is it they will say what is right they will mention that right what is wrong they will mention what is wrong the auditor can be sued for negligence it never happens the auditor cannot confirm the accuracy of the file as they as contain what they are what it says it all about our what estimates and judgments is it right? all about estimates and the assumptions is it right the company may not be a going concern and the financial statements are correctly reflect the result is that companies uh, uh, may, may not be a going concern but financial statements will be correct is it right then definitely there is an expectation gap is it right we cannot you as a auditor how much you can do you can you as a auditor you will just take take the samples okay so there will be some uh, some some diff gap will be there is it right that is why we will never say it is correct always we say it's a accurate is that and the auditor will will not test all the transactions as such is it right that's why we are talking in terms of this okay now this is the way you have to make sure when you are doing the multiple choice question this is the way i will i will make sure to make you understand is that every option you have to read every option you have to analyze and on every then you will say which is one right because we are having how many we are having uh, 20 marks is it right we are having 20 marks yes 20, 12 questions 20 marks is it right when you are uh, uh, 10 question 20 marks marks 20 marks 20 marks yeah 20 30 20 20 20 20, 20 yes 20, is it uh, 30 marks i think so is it when you are having this you have to make sure that this is that this is the this is the change that will happen in your final marks fine that is the reason we have to work it out on each and every option next is that we will have a break here uh, once we come back what is the time now time is 6 is it we will be back inshallah at uh, at what time maita we will back fast Um, 6:30. Fine, 6:30. You have to be here, inshallah. Okay, pray and come back fast. <laughs> 